Good morning, Evans. I am Mr. Cutsforth, as always, and here is the Bulldog broadcast for Friday, March 1st. Happy March 2024. Today is cycle day three. On the lunch menu for today, and the main lunch line is chicken and vegetable dumplings, a hot roll, carrot coins, and a pineapple. Or if you don't like that, you can also have the daily is your pizza line, your bento box, and your salad bar options. Here are some fun facts about St. Louis. Did you know that St. Louis was the first U.S. city to host the modern Olympics? And that 7-Up was born in St. Louis? And the tallest man in documented history was Robert Pershing Wadlow from St. Louis. He stood at 8 feet 11.1 inches tall. Wow, that's extremely tall. And the first successful parachute jump from a moving airplane was made by Captain Barry in St. Louis in 1912. I'm not sure who the first person that attempted the parachute jump, but obviously he didn't make it. Any 7th or 8th grade girl interested in playing middle school softball can sign up in the attendance office. Evans will host a book fair March 4th through March 7th. Parents can set up a digital wallet for students by following the link sent via Parent Square. Today is National Pig Day. Everywhere you go, the pig is part of our daily life. Whether it's a little porcelain coin receptacles we use to save our money, the pigs that have stolen our hearts on the silver screen, Babe and Wilbur from Charlotte's Web, or the cute little animals we have witnessed during our farm visits, these adorable little porcine lovelies have made our lives greater at every step. They've even recently made strides into becoming a favorite family pet, especially the pot-bellied pig. So you can't deny the fact, despite their sloppy eating habits, they are both fun to watch and have around. Schools, farms, zoos, and local community groups often hold events every year in celebration of these magnificent animals. So have a look for events that are happening near you or celebrate at home, by which we mean without a bacon sandwich. Mm, that makes me hungry. Our Bulldog Archers will compete on March 2nd in Des Moines at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Congratulations to all of you and good luck at State. Today in history, for March 1st, in 1803, Ohio becomes the 17th state of the Union. And in 1872, Yellowstone becomes the first national park. And in 1998, Miami's own Pat Riley becomes the fifth head coach to record, record 900 career NBA wins with the Miami Heat. And in 2016, the Forbes Richest List released, Bill Gates was number two with $75 billion. That's right. Mr. Smith was number two at $71 billion. So talk to Mr. Smith there at school. And in 2023, social media site TikTok announces a 60-minute daily screen time limit for users 18 and under. Sorry, middle school, no TikTok. If you've been on for an hour, man, that's a long time. Here are your Evans Students of the Week for February 26th through March 1st. Congratulations, and continue to show your Evans pride. A huge congratulations to the Evans Choir on an outstanding performance on Tuesday night. Way to go. Keep singing loud and proud. Your Evans Show Choir, Supernova, will have this week off to recharge their vocal box. But last weekend at Central Lee, Supernova captured the first place trophy for Best Show Choir. And Maya Josie sorry, Yoshi, won Best Performer. Congratulations, and keep up the strong singing. Parent-teacher conferences will be held 
Monday, March 3rd, from 3.30 to 7.30 p.m., and on Thursday, from 1.30 to 7 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Any 7th or 8th grade girl interested in joining track and field can come to the library during advisory on Wednesday, March 6th, after attendance. If you cannot attend the sign-up and are in 7th grade, stop by Mr. Kanzler's room, 222, to sign up. If you're in 8th grade and you cannot attend the sign-up, stop by Mr. Tanner's room, room 152, to sign up. Practices will begin on March 18th, the day we return from spring break, after school. Get in the spirit of spring break. Spirit Week will be March 4th through the 7th. On Monday, we have Monochrome Day, wear all one color of clothing, Tuesday, Class Colors Day, 8th grade, you have pink, 7th grade, you're green, teachers, you're blue, and the admin and counselors, you are an orange. Wednesday, a student dressed like teachers and teachers dressed like students. And Mrs. Bemis knows the last time I dressed up like a student. That wasn't a very good day. Thursday, Bulldog Whiteout Day, wear white. Remember that the dress code still applies to spirit days, so dress up, but dress appropriately. Have a great day, Evans. The weather's going to be perfect this weekend. Get out, have some fun. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Stay classy, Evans.